Hey all, in this lesson we're going to talk about introducing the ring finger to your playing. So if you got started playing guitar in a classroom or in private lessons with a teacher, there's a really good chance that you started playing guitar with thumb, index, and middle and played that way for a little while before starting the ring finger. However, if you want to continue to improve your playing and if you want to be a really top-notch guitar player, then we're going to have to be confident with our ring finger as well. So I would like to talk today about how I start getting my students playing with the ring finger. So we're going to start by putting our thumb on string four and then putting the ring finger on string one. And the other two fingers are not really on the strings. Um, they're not touching the strings. They're just a couple millimeters off. They're not pointed away from it. They're not tense. They're just hanging out near the strings, relaxed. Now, once you're in this position and you feel completely relaxed, then you're ready to play. And one thing we're gonna aim for from the very first time is to have both the ring finger and the pinky moving together. So think about that big knuckle moving and play. You're gonna to wanna to do quite a few repetitions. You know, you might wanna do 20 notes at a time or even 100 notes at a time just aiming for really consistent motion, good tone, making sure that pinky moves along. And one other thing here, when I'm playing with my ring finger, I find that more so than any other finger, there's a better chance that my right shoulder might get a little bit tense. And so the way that you're gonna avoid that is just from the very beginning, just focus on that shoulder, make sure it's relaxed. And if you feel it get tense as you're playing, then just focus on it and relax those muscles. It's a very important skill if you want to be a great guitar player. So if you're staying relaxed and if you're getting good tone and if that pinky is moving together, that's really it. Continue to practice that until you get very confident with that. And once you are confident with it, you're ready to add the left hand. And what I recommend for someone getting started with the ring finger is to play something that just has one string. So uh, this could be something like if you've done some of the guitar curriculum pieces such as respiration, just use your ring finger. So that was guitar one, but you could honestly do any of the guitar parts. Another piece that I like to recommend is one of my own compositions called Footsteps. And this is all on second string, so it doesn't really matter which string you're on. You just adjust your hand position. Now my thumb's on string five. And then you play. Make sure you're staying relaxed still. But the key is to just pick out something that is nice and easy. So avoiding anything like shifts, anything with a slur, anything that adds another level of complication you want to avoid that. So just something nice and simple to get started. And once you feel good with all of that, with using the left hand and staying relaxed with the ring finger, that opens up a whole lot of different opportunities of things to play, such as arpeggios that incorporate the ring. P, I, M, A would be a very common one, uh, or really just a ton of other things. Using the ring finger allows for a lot of flexibility and it's just something that you have to have in your toolbox if you wanna be a complete guitarist. All right, thank you for watching my lesson on the ring finger, and uh, that's it, take care.